one of the criticisms I have of the hard problem is how to explain things like qualia, the first person perspective. And one of the problems is that we have to distinguish between the qualia that are necessary to consciousness and those that are just often found in consciousness. So in meditative states, people can often realize what's called the pure consciousness event. They are not aware of the world. They're not aware. They're not even self-aware. They're just purely conscious. This is well-documented. And what's interesting about that is a lot of the favorite qualia philosophers, the greenness of green, the blueness of blue, the sense of self disappear. But the person hasn't blacked out. They haven't become unconscious. So what remain are the adverbial qualia, the here-ness, the now-ness, the unity. Those are often described in superlatives. Eternity is a complete here, complete now, complete unity. And what that shows is the adverbial qualia are necessary. And I think I can also make an argument sufficient for consciousness. The adjectival qualia are not. Now, what are those adverbial qualia? Well, the here-ness and the now-ness and the togetherness are your basic way of sizing up and salient landscaping your world. What it's like to be here now in this state of mind. That's my perspectival knowing. That's what consciousness is doing. So its function is to do salience landscaping. And its nature as adverbial qualia is the kind of thing that emerge when a being is capable of doing salience landscaping. This helps to explain the deep connections between consciousness, attention, working memory, and fluid intelligence. In fact, you can't pull apart areas of the brain that are active when you're conscious, from when you're paying attention, from, right? There's debates around this, but more, more and more people are seeing that they're tightly integrated. They're overlapping functionalities. I agree with Marjorie in that I think consciousness is a filter, but I think that the brain is a filter, but I think consciousness is the filtering rather than consciousness is being filtered by our brain. I think consciousness is precisely how we're filtering the environment. If you were, you could not be conscious of all of the information within and without you right now. Um, consciousness is filtering most of that out so that you zero in on what you should be remembering, how you should be formulating the problem that's at hand. And you are a problem, understanding me. How you're sizing up the situation, how you're assuming and shifting between different roles or identities. Perhaps you're a student, perhaps you want to challenge, et cetera. And so I think that you can give an integrated answer as to what consciousness does that also helps tell you what it fundamentally is and vice versa.